Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Rankin reaching out to you from South Metro Wellness Clinic. Today we have a very interesting but classic topic that we're going to focus on and it's the importance of posture especially in young people in the last two weeks we've had seven new patients come in who have been between the ages of 24 and 31 which is a very very good group and it's an exciting group because it's always amazing to see young people taking control of their health and understanding the benefits and the value of chiropractic and just wellness care in general coming in for their first time and then i think maybe just one of those patients um, had seen a chiropractor in, in the past for, for some time, but wasn't going currently. And these people had some very, very specific patterns that all mimicked each other. So even though every person's body is a little bit different, we all tend to have patterns that are similar because stress starts to decay and cause problems among most young people with similar patterns. And today we're gonna focus on that because one thing that was very interesting is the majority of these people came in with symptoms across the belt line and in the low back and had maybe a mild complaint in the back of the neck or the shoulders. When we went ahead and did the muscle scan and the comprehensive exam, it was very, very clear that we needed to do a gait analysis and a full on postural exam because the exam always shows what's under the surface, which is always, always so much more than just what we see in symptoms. So let's dive into that. Your posture is the window to the spine, okay? So when you look at a spine, you're supposed to see zero degree tilt from A to P, so anterior to posterior. And then if you look at the degrees from the side, you're looking at a certain angle, which is a lordosis in the cervical spine. It's reversed in the thoracic spine, and then again becomes a lordosis in the lumbar spine. Then when you look at a pelvis, it's supposed to be even and level. What happens when your posture starts to change? 90% of patients, regardless of their age, change their posture from the top down. Reason being that's closest to the brain. Where your head is in space has everything to do with your posture and will also affect what your treatment plan is going to look like. The most common thing we see is called FHP or forward head posture. So the head comes far forward off the shoulders. And I'm just gonna show you guys what that does to the spine. Watch the subtle changes. Okay, so what we see is a bend in a little rotation right here at the base of the cervical spine and the very, very top of the mid back, which if you reach behind your neck and you poke or you press right here on the bone that sticks out, that C7, that's the vertebral prominence, you're gonna see that start to come out a little bit farther. What's also gonna happen is you're going to disturb and disrupt some of the facet joints, which are the weight bearing portions here in the back of your joint. You're gonna disrupt, disturb and disrupt those. And rather than being on the healthy glide, which is the arc of life that if you've been following my channel, you probably heard me talk about. Shouldn't get excited about it, but I do. Health and wellness is awesome, right? So when we go ahead and rotate everything, these facets are gonna glide and they're not gonna click and crack and cause inflammation and cause damage. So it doesn't matter what your age is, what matters is what the mechanics are. You could see an 83 year old lady who comes in to, to see the chiropractor, you know, after two or three years of not, being able, of not seeing one because she kicked too high in aerobics class and she was just a little bit sore and her posture is plumb line perfect, 83 years old. Then you can see somebody who's 19 and their forward head posture is horrible after they've been studying for a lot of years in high school after being a serious student and they've got terrible neck pain and they can't sleep at night and they're worried about what their future is gonna look like as they should be. When this forward head posture gets the, gets the best of a cervical spine, gets everything really, really straight and add in a tilt or a rotation here and now you've got double posture if not triple postural imbalances, okay? So you've got pressure on nerves on one side, distortion on the opposite side, and you've completely manipulated an entire curvature. So that technically means that if you look at the definition of subluxation, every single one of those segments is subluxated and those nerves in there are being impacted and hurting. So when I look at a patient like this half a dozen patients who've been in the last two weeks who are youngsters, they're all complaining of low back pain and when we do the exam, we're finding out that they have far more distress and disruption in their cervical spine and across their shoulders. So posture in young people is extremely important, especially if you're a teenager and you're in the online world and you're on your phone a lot, or you're carrying a, a backpack or some kind of tote that's you know, more than 15% of your body weight, that's gonna start to distort 
your posture and it's going to put a lot of pressure on growth plates in here and not everybody is an early bloomer so some people are carrying around a lot of weight in high school they are still not skeletally mature they have secondary growth centers that are still working okay and if we have any kind of distress in those growth plates that could you know, put you at predisposed risk of early arthritic decay, instability, increased subluxa subluxation or postural imbalances that are not as easily correctable. So I really wanted to dedicate this week to uh, not only thanking our young people for coming in, but also giving a tribute to how important the comprehensive examination is. Yes, you could easily come to a chiropractor and get a very focused brief history and a brief exam for a screaming low back pain and sciatica issue. Yes, we're gonna focus most of, the, most of the exam on that specific issue and it's gonna be written up that way in the documentation. But if you're coming in with pain and I'm finding dysfunction in a multitude of areas, we really have to step back, take a look at the total picture and see how much distress is on the nervous system based upon a person's posture. And it's amazing what our posture will tell us and how creepily accurate those muscle scans are because they pick up and show everything. So whatever is underneath the surface will show up on the scan. Uh, a way that my patients really like hearing the exam described is an x-ray for soft tissue and the nerves because that's going to tell me what your soft tissue is, is trying to say, which when you're first coming into a chiropractor, your main goal is pain relief before corrective and rehabilitation. So those things are extremely important. So back to the low back pain, we adjust from top to bottom. Your low back will be adjusted if you have low back pain, obviously, on both sides from P to A, posterior to anterior, when we lay everybody face down on the table, and then also on sides, that affectionate term we use in our practice and chiropractic in general, side posture, which is very, very popular in our youngsters because it offers immediate pain relief. With the drop piece adjustments and the table adjustments, you're gonna get more correction. So it was extremely interesting to see patients come in with, with pain right here at L2, with pain right across the belt line, and the majority of these people, some of them still in their 20s, have been dealing with low back pain for over a year. The one year was the minimal amount that each of these young patients reported. So going back to the other premise about not just posture, but health and wellness, it's for everybody. I tell people, think about it this way. Most of my patients who come to care for, to come for, to chiropractic care for, for health and wellness aren't coming with low back pain. They don't have low back pain because they go. So if you're out in public and you talk about going to a chiropractor, the first thing your peers are going to say to you is, oh, I'm sorry to hear that you have problems. Well, the reality is they don't have problems anymore because they already took care of them, okay? And they're being seen by a wellness doctor who has repaired those issues, and now they can talk to their peers and educate them about why they should have postural exams too. One thing that also came up last week was a patient with his re-exam his seven-year-old son was in the back seat of the car when they had a car accident. He went into urgent care. His son was checked out. Uh, as long as there's nothing broken, there's no internal bleeding, there's no serious injuries, especially with head, head trauma, those things were all written off and, and cleared, and the, and the little boy was fine. Here we are three months later, and his dad is still worried about him. What if something is off? And that is a tribute to his chiropractic education and the changes in his spine that he has seen. So one thing I'm going to start doing never say never, I thought I would never say this, is opening the floor to a pediatric practice. I have never practiced with pediatrics before. And in the last three weeks, some of our car accident patients have started to bring their children, one of them three, one of them four, one of them seven, and then we have another seven-year-old. So I do think it's exciting. We're gonna start to teach chiropractic to more young people and start to spread the message of health and wellness. And yes, it will be simply with posture. The worst thing that can happen is you come in or your child comes in and we find out, hey, their posture looks awesome. Keep up the great work. If not, here's a couple things we can do to change. So we'll continue to focus on posture here. I'll offer you guys some really great cases and some case study going forward as to what it is that we're working on here and the changes that we're making in our health for our young people because now is more important of a time than ever and it's our responsibility to get as healthy as we possibly can and remain as healthy as we possibly can and encourage others to do the same. It's been great chatting today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If it's your first time, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you can see when the new videos are posted. Usually we do them every Tuesday. We might start doing them twice a week here, depending on the demand. Um, so just with that, I will just say goodbye before I continue <laughs> some other topic. And we'll see you guys next week. Thanks.